Hi everyone, it's Doug from Bjorn Territory. And in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to paint the prey tools from the Dominion box set and to expand your storm host. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, I also go through some of the tips and tricks uh, through the data cards, the guys, so that you can pick up some of the information that comes with these new characters. Okay, so the prey tools, their stats, they have a move of five inches, wounds of three, save of three plus, and bravery eight. These guys pretty much sound like the bodyguards, the protectors. Um, they have soul guard halberds, which look pretty cool. They look a little bit like, do you remember the Phoenix Guard? I think it was the Phoenix Guard, the High Elves used to have in Warhammer. So, the, this weapon, it's one inch, range, three attacks, three plus to hit, three to wound, minus one rend and two damage, which is pretty cool. The Primes get an extra attack, as standard with the uh, Stormcasts. But they have this ab ability here, the Soul Forged Guardian. From reading it, sounds a bit like the 40k lookout sir thing. Uh, so at the start of the first battle round, before determining who has the first turn, you can pick one friendly Stormcast Eternal Hero on the battlefield to which this unit will be bound. Roll a dice before you allocate a wound or a mortal wound to that hero while it is within three inches of this unit. So it needs to be quite close, as a bodyguard would be. On a one to two, that wound or mortal wound is allocated to a hero, as normal. On a three to four, that wound or mortal wound is allocated to this unit instead of that hero. And on a five to six, that wound or mortal wound is negated. Interesting to see how tactically they're used and who with and their cost. Prey tools, three of them, 155 points. So starting off, I've base coat them in uh, Wraith Bane. So starting with my colours, I'm going for the Contrast Paint Black Templar. I was thinking about this the other time. You can apply this technique with any of the Contrast Paints, depending on what colour you want your Storm Host to be. Um, and hopefully the skills I show you, you can apply to however you want them to be for your Storm Host. All right, so I'm gonna start a bit of black for the flat armour. Start to pick it out and apply it. Hopefully a little bit more carefully than last time, but hey, happy accidents and all. <laughs> this colour is Mephiston Red. And with the Mephiston Red, I'm going to do the cloak. Nice and even. I'm also going to do the chain armour, like before. Tied it up in a sec. The handle of the halberd. Obviously inside and outside of the cloak. The red, it was quite tricky because of the cloak, trying to get in, in the nooks and crannies. So take your time, try your best. Uh, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. I generally paint, uh, I don't know, three foot fabulous is what I aim for. Um, and I generally add the layer, tidy up the last layer and work in that kind of format. Um, my next color, contrast cyber brown. And I'm gonna focus on the ropes and tassels that are around his waist. The next colour I'm going to use is Yushabti Bone and I'm going to use that for the hanging cloths on the halberd. Next colour, Lead Belcher. With the lead belcher, I'm going to focus on a few areas. The face, I'm going to have a contrast with the mask against the black ring, pin badge, the blade of the halberd, also the base, the sword. And then the edges of the top of the plate on his legs and on his wrist for his armour. However, I think his collar here would be quite nice silver. Now for some washes. Known oil, 
and I'm going to use that for all the metallic areas. And a final wash on over the rest of the model in Agrax Earthshade. Just making sure it doesn't pull anywhere too heavy where I don't want it to. But not being subtle with it at all. <laughs> now that the shades are dry, I'm just going to come back in with Mephiston Red and focus on the cloak. But what I'm going to do is just the flatter areas. Make the colour stand out a bit brighter and leave where the shadows, where the shade has fallen. The next colour I'm coming in with is Evil Sun Scarlet and that will be my first highlight colour. Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm just going to focus on the raised areas of the creases of the cloak using the tip of my brush or the side of my brush. Like so. I'll also pick up some of the raised areas on the staff, sorry, the halberd. Nice way to see it on the raised area of the inside of the cloak. Do a patch there. Crease of the cloak, where I think the light will hit the cloak. Next colour is Wild Rider Red. With the Wild Rider Red, I am just going to be really picking the fine edge of the cloaks using the tip of the brush where I can on the edges the side of the brush to get a nice thin stripe and the edge of the cloak make it pop around on the side edge and maybe a few like little highlights on the red chain armor chain armor and done here. For the metal armour, I'm just going to come in with the lead belcher again, but for flat areas and keep where the shadows are. So on the face and the blade, for example. Next colour is a chainmail or a bright silver. With the bright silver, I'm going to use it to edge highlight the blade. So using the side of the brush along the edge, pick out parts of the halberd on the face, I'm going to do the side edges, make it stick out, I'm now I'm going to come back in with your shanty bone for the With your shanty bone, I'm just going to pick out the flatter areas, back in with the paint, and to edge highlight, I'm just going to use wraith bone. Edge of the cloth, creases. Just to base it, I've put your shanty bone on the skull that was on the base and a bit of grey paint and now I'm going to come in with the Astro Granite texture material and slap it on. And my last colour is Administratum Grey and I'm going to use that to dry brush on the black just to give it a little bit of uh, detail. So with the dry brush, I'm just going to come on to the edge of the armour and lightly just pick out some of the raised bits. I hope you like the video. Hope you've picked up some ideas, gained in confidence of having a go at your own minis, uh, learn a few things about the Prey Tools, and if you do like what I'm doing, don't forget to like and subscribe, really appreciate it. Take care, bye.